Hello everyone, welcome back to my Stock channel. Till the previous video, we have completed the first unit. Now, the regarding the program, how exactly we are going to add the component, how exactly we are going to set. In short, I am going to cover this, the programs in short in this video. So, before starting the program, we will see some of the methods which are very important while you are doing a programming. So here are some of the methods. Now if you say this method, these methods are of component class. Just remember it. And the first method is void set size, integer width and integer height. Now what exactly is the use of this set size method? Now this set size method is used to set the size of a frame. Now if this is your frame and from here it starts from 0 and this will be your x axis and this will be your y axis. Suppose you pass it 300 and 300, till 300 it will have its size. So this is regarding the set size, this method we are going to use to set the size that will be See when you will program a compile and interpret your program. Now the next one is set visible boolean status. So this method is very important. Now you will having a frame. Here you will have some of the components. As per the requirement, you will take some of the components, right? Now whenever you will take this component, it should be visible to us whatever we have been programmed. So for that purpose, set visible. So this set visible method will visible the components that you have did or programmed. Now here the status, if it is true, then it will be visible. If it is false, then it will not be visible. And just remember, by before it is false. So compulsory you should use this set visible method. Now the next one is set layout, layout manager M. As we seen a different layout manager, as per the requirement of a user, we are going to use this method and set the layout managed. If you don't want, you can pass here null also. But what is default layout manager? Flow layout is a default manager. And the next one is add component. Now we are going to add some of the component for that for that one, the method is add. And again one method is there, that is void, then set bounds. Now, it is going to have four parameters, that is integer x, integer y, then here it will be integer height and integer so now here four parameters are there. Now set bounds of what we are going to set the bounds of the component. Now here x and y, it will position your whatever the component is there. Now as I told, suppose this is your output screen and suppose you wanted this component to be positioned here. Means as for the requirement, as here from here it starts x, from here y, x and y should specify. That means at that particular position, if you pass here 3 or 3 and uh, 3 or 5, here 5. Now till 3 and till 5. Now what is the point here? So your, this component will be positioned here. So this is regarding x and y. And height and width, what is the height and width of this particular component that you are going to set bounds for what exactly you are going to set the bounds. So height and width will be of that particular component. So these are the methods that we are going to see, use in the program. So next we will see the program. So now we will turn towards the program. Just remember my dear friends, the program of this advanced Java can be done in the two ways. First one is by using the inheritance and second one is by the association. Now what exactly the inheritance? Now here what I have did, I have taken friends object directly. So instead of that, also you can, what I can do? Here you have taken the class, extends frame you can do. So that whatever the properties are the frame, it will be extended in the class XYZ. And using the association means here I created the object and using this object I have added the components one by one. So these are the two ways within which we can uh, have the program in the advanced Java. So now here what exactly I have did the program here I have taken the example of a button that we are going to see in the output. So using this same programming or the same you can try for other components. Here I have taken the example of the button how exactly I am going to add. Now before this, as we know this, what are the components are there, classes are there of AWT, comes under which package? It comes under import java.awt.asterisk package. That means in AWT package, this all whatever the frame are there, button, 
these all the things come under this package so first we have to import this as here i have used asterisk why i use asterisk that means whatever the class are there it will all the class will include here also i can do aw to dot frame aw to dot button dot text field so instead of doing this for all here i have used asterisk yes i will go so first what is your work you should import this package now the next one I have taken class X Y Z. Then open curly brackets and here public static void main string arguments as we did in Java. The same thing we are going to use here. Now here as we know every program's execution start from main function. So from this it will have it will start the execution. Now what exactly wanted we do? So just before starting or before starting of programming and whenever you will have online exemption whatever you see the output what exactly you have to do you should virtually first have that output in front of you and depending on that you have to start the program now here what exactly you will have the virtual virtualization imagination that yes i wanted for frame i wanted to set the component first i will make the uh, object of frame then the object of button then i will add i will set the visibility i will set the bounds this all the things should be come in your mind now the first line what i have did here frame ob is equal to new frame so here what i have did i have made the object of frame class right now this frame i have created right now here what exactly next i will do button b word is equal to new button now i wanted to add the button so here i have created its object i have passed the parameter okay as we see in the previous tutorial that it contains many of the constructor one of this will set the name for that button so here i have passed here i have passed nothing the by default constructor is also there but instead of this this frame I had set the title for the using this method set title of frame class. I have set the title. Or else, without using this, if you don't want to use the method, you can pass directly in the constructor. So try. There are many more options. Now the next one is b1 dot set bounds. Now I wanted to position this button in a particular way. Now using this only, this object only, I am going to set the bounds. Means for what exactly component you wanted to set bounds? That regarding that object, you have to use b1 dot set bounds and the four parameter. That one is this one is fifty and fifty. So what exactly will be here? Now here, suppose this is your output string, and as I told zero, her x and y. Right from here, zero it will have here x, and here it will be y. Now this is what fifty and fifty means x and y. My fifty. Suppose my fifty comes here and my fifty. So what is my common point? So this button will be placed at this position, and whatever the height and width will be there, that will be as per whatever you have passed here will be the height and width of the button. And the next one is ob dot add b one. Just understand this line. Now what exactly is the frame is there on that frame I am going to add right? Then what I will do using this object that means on this frame O B dot add B one. That means on the frame I am going to add this button which I have created the object. So for that purpose O B dot add B one. And the next one is a O B dot set title. As I'm, I wanted to set the title for the frame, so I have passed here set title student data. Now the next one is ob dot set size. As I told, the other one is the method that set size. There it was set size of frame. Set size of a frame and set bounds will set the size or it will position a particular component control. Okay, so this will set the size of the frame. Now the next one is a set layout. Here I have passed none. I don't don't want any kind of layout. So here I have passed none. So by default, what will be? It will be flow layout. Just remember. And the last one, which is very important, as I told, set visible to. That means O B dot set visible. This should the frame should be visible. Whatever the components are there should be visible. So that purpose, I have made. Set visible true, so that my frame will be visible. If you omitted this, if you omitted this, then the frame will be not visible. Whatever the components are there will be not visible. So this is regarding the button. You can try all the constructor, try all the methods regarding it that we have seen in the previous tutorials. So it will be very useful for whenever you will sit for the MCQs. So this was regarding the button. I try for other. 
textfield text age as there are many more components that we have seen and thank you so much for watching this video next we will see of check box and check box two okay so if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you